Cool. Okay. Welcome to Jab. Brilliant. Okay, I'm uh, going to give you a little presentation, making it a little bit quicker because we're uh, running a bit late. So just to let you know who I am, I'm the one on the left. Okay, the two guys on the right, not a clue. Don't get involved with them after 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> okay, you will, you, you've been warned. Okay, I come from uh, south coast of Littlehampton. Uh, uh, so, sorry, south coast of um, England, little place called Littlehampton. Uh, it's a seaside town and it's beautiful. Okay, a bit about me. Okay, I say I build things, I hack things. Okay, I'm a uh, more of a front end developer. Okay, but I hack extensions, I make them do what I want to do, and I get the work done. Um, XOSM, brilliant days, and if anybody has not been involved heavily in the community, get involved, it's superb. It's really, really uh, rewarding. Brilliant, brilliant community. Okay, we've got guys like uh, this little rocket scientist guy here who will just help anybody. He is absolutely superb. Really happy people. Vikings that get drunk at midnight and roll down hills. You know, it's a brilliant, brilliant community. Okay, really nice people and people who just keep on popping up <laughs> everywhere. Okay, so my name is not Brian Tiemann. Okay, I am actually the tall, quiet one. Okay, I'm fanatical about rugby, so if you want a beer and have a chat about rugby, that's my thing. Uh, a few truths. Okay, um, Brian has been spreading rumours for years now that I was born with no hair and have, I've never had any hair. It's actually not true. Okay, I did. <laughs> okay, I did have hair. Okay, I was damn good looking, but I was never a porn star. All right, that's another one that's going around. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing here? Okay, um, tell you a little bit of an experience I had about 18 months ago where I went to a client, I spent loads and loads of time prior to going to this client creating wireframes. Okay, went off, did this brilliant presentation, I was sat opposite five or six guys, and um, I got to the wireframe, and he said, oh, pass me your laptop, so I passed him a laptop, and he started clicking buttons and started clicking links and things, and he said, well, it, it, it doesn't do anything. You know, so I'm like, well, now I'm, you know, I'm giving you a presentation. It's a wireframe. It's a mock-up. And he said, oh, go away. Create a prototype for me that I can click. Okay? So prototyping is what I'm heavily into now. Okay? Um, and the client, I, you know, I've really found the client now actually wants to click something. He wants to play with something. It might not be a finished design. Okay? But he wants to click and, and play with things. So I shut down Photoshop and um, went off and, and deleted my, my wireframe applications, etc., etc. Okay, my idea now is I do all my prototyping in Joomla. Okay, so I have a, a, a working prototype. Um, and it's very, very, very simple indeed. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, very quickly, what's the time? Very quickly, um, I'm going to knock up a prototype in Joomla, ready for me to take to a client. Okay. All right, no hands. Okay, so first of all, just going to really, really simply... <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to create some pages and grab some bits and pieces. I wanted to do this, really, just to show you you know, this is an empty install. There's no content, there's no modules, there's no components, apart from JCE, which I, you know, is my first install. So, I can relax now. <laughs> I just wanted to show you, just really quickly, I mean, this should take, um, I don't know, five minutes. Okay, all I'm doing here is just creating pages, um, creating the menus, linking those up, I mean, my aim at the end of this, um, you know, a few minutes, is to have a working prototype, okay, that we can actually take to a client. It looks like a wireframe, but it works.
I don't have a fast forward, so <laughs> sorry. I'm just going to bore you now for a couple of minutes. <coughs> Yeah, I know. I don't know, you'd be heckling. Okay, so we got our four pages. <coughs> okay, we're going to add our menu. Straight out of the box menu. Well, I don't know how many people here are, I mean, I, I know a lot of you, you know, you're Joomla gurus, um, but I don't know if anybody here is not really a Joomla guru. Is there anybody? So hands up. Thank you, please. <laughs> okay, so we, we've got the startings of our, of our prototype here. We've got our four pages in. Okay, what we're going to start doing now is our wireframing type things that we would wireframe up. You know, and the great thing about this, we're doing it all in the browser. We're doing it all with Joomla. So I was thinking here, sorry. <laughs> It's either that or I was disturbed by the wife to do the hoovering or something, I don't know. Okay, so we've got the first part of our wireframe up, you know, which is a header. Um, you know, later on when we style this and all the rest of it, you know, we can, you know, I'll show you in a moment something else. But, you know, once we've got the, uh, the sign-off for the wireframe, um, we can start starting it. We can put in their slideshows and this, that, and all the rest of it, you know. But um, just here, all we're trying to do is create something that the client can actually click on, you know, and they can go through to a page and they can see that, you know, that the header disappears on other pages and all of that sort of stuff. This is, uh, this is Bootstrap, okay, so uh, the cl uh, module class suffixes I'm putting in there is just to spread things out across the page, across the 12 column grids. Just for quickness, just going to duplicate all of those because I want four to go across the page nice and equally. Okay, so we're, we're beginning to build our wireframe up. This is great. Everybody says I'm doing a presentation. I'm so hoarse afterwards while I talk so much. I can just sit here and watch like you guys. Hmm. Sorry? I mean, it's a real site, but it's a video. It's, I've, I've, I've videoed myself, yeah. I don't have a little man there that you can't see behind the screen. <laughs> I was going to sit there and do it, pretend to do it for a while, and then just get up and walk away and see what you say. But <laughs> okay, so we, I mean, we've got our four, what I call, promo slots um, in... Uh, in four of the columns across the page. So now we're just adding some other bits. Nearly there. One thing to notice here that, you know, this camera slot, if you want to call it that, um, is spanning all 12 columns of the page. 
So what I'm doing now is, is just adding um, a bit of text over on the right-hand side, um, put it in the, in the right position, and Bootstrap will miraculously just put everything where it needs to go. I'm not here to market my template. This two strap. Yeah. I wasn't going to wear this t-shirt. I was going to wear my juice strap t-shirt with a URL and everything, but I thought it was too much of a marketing exercise, so I, I didn't do it. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you here as well is, I think we'll go back and do it in a moment. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the last bit we're going to do here is just add a bit of a footer. This is a real simple, quick one, but I'm, I'm just trying to get across to you how quick we can create this. I mean, I, you, know, not, you know, this is not the way that we would do it for big, big clients and lots of different styles and all, you know, style pages and all that sort of thing. You know, this is the the sort of thing. And I've done this before, you know, I've gone down to Costa, I've met some, you know, a, a, you know, a plumber or a carpenter down there who wants a website, you know, it doesn't have that much money to be honest with you. Okay. And I've sat there and I've created this in Costa for him, in front of him, with him saying, no, I don't want that on the right, I want it on the left. So I just move it across. Okay. And uh, a couple of people, you know, I've done that, I've met them the next day and sat there and styled it in a couple of hours as well. Um, Bob's your uncle, you know, he's got a, you know, a nice small little website for himself. And how many hours do you invest for? <laughs> that's the tricky bit. That is the tricky bit, yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to show this, you know, so simply you know, that it is simple. Okay, so we, we've got our wireframe now. Okay, the last thing I think I'm going to do yeah, the last thing I'm going to do is just put a, you know, a little link in there on the right-hand side um, that he can hover over and it changes. And, you know, we could put a proper link in there to a page, but I'll just, you know, put a hash in there. And okay. Put in a bootstrap style in there because I just don't want it to be a link. I want it to be, look like a button. And um, this, this class will pick up the CSS. Hmm? Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so there is our wireframe, okay, and the client can actually come along, he can see it, okay, he can click on page one, and if we don't assign the, the header, all right, to page one menu item, okay, he can see how it's gonna work. Okay, so that's taken me seven, eight minutes, whatever it was, I don't know, eight minutes. Um, it's actually taken me longer to create things in these wireframe things. And I'm, you know, I'm one of these people where I download a wireframe application, I use it, and then I see a bloody email or something or other, okay, and there's this other one, and I can get it on my, I uh, on my iPad, so I start using that one. I end up with five or six different wireframing applications. And to be honest with you, you know, I, over the years, I can't believe how much time I've wasted with wireframes, where now I can just do it um, you know, in the browser, and it works. This is the point in time where the client, when he sees that wireframe, he says, what's all this mobile stuff? You know, I want people to be able to see it like pinching and zooming on their iPad and their mobile phone and all the rest of it. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we say, well, you know, what's it worth to you? You know, if you're a marketeer like uh, Mr. Bremer, Mr. Bremer would say, okay, I'm going to go away, all right, it's going to cost you two days, I'll take this desktop version and I'll turn it into mobile okay two days I'll be back in two days you give me the money okay I don't do that okay I say right okay what I've built you here <coughs> excuse me what I've built you here is already responsive so just to show you well I've gone into my template parameters just a quick refresh there because it's not working properly Okay, we can see our, our working one, okay, and we can click on different resolutions, and it just works. You know, it does what it says on the tin. You know, it's responsive, it's desktop, it just works. 
some truths now. Okay, I'm not an SEO guy. Do not talk to me about SEO. Okay, um, but what I do believe is that a lot of people go on the you know the Firebug, um, Firefox wagon to do all their styling and all of that sort of stuff. I really believe that people are not using Google Chrome to its, its full ability. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is um, just going to do a couple of things here, just tidy up a couple of things and tidy up a couple of menus and you know assigning things just to. You know, so the promo is here. You know, I only want them to show on the home page, so I'm assigning them just to the home page menu item. Once we get that out the way, okay, so we're just going to start styling it now. Okay, so they've signed off our wireframe, they love it, they think it's fantastic. The simplest website ever. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to start adding a few images um, in the places I wanted. Okay, so we've added our, our camera image. I'm now going to add my uh, my nice little header. I'm, on this design, I decided and just quickness as well. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to have a logo. Okay, the logo is going to be incorporated within the uh, within the header. Okay, so I'm now adding my, my little social icons down at the bottom of the footer. This is the easiest presentation I've ever given. <laughs> okay, so we're just adding some dummy links to the icons. Just so that when we hover them, you do see the hand, etc. Okay, so we're getting close to the cool bit now. Okay, so if we go back here, we can now see we've got a, you know, virtually a working website, but it still looks very, you know, bootstrap. I can tell a bootstrap website a million miles away. Okay, so this is where I'm telling you that Chrome is king. Chrome is superb. Okay, so what all I'm doing here is I'm looking at the HTML, selecting a div. I'm actually creating a style over on the right, si uh, right hand side. Okay, the thing to do here is do not refresh your browser. <laughs> okay. okay, so I've, I've done that a million times. Okay, so what, what I tend to do now is um, uh, as I'm creating these styles and what have you, I just go in and, and we can actually go in by clicking over on the right hand side the style and it'll show us what we've actually added. Okay, so I go in there and just copy and paste that somewhere occasionally just so that I don't lose it. So this is just a design that just I found a nice image, it's come out of my head and I'm just styling it to make it look a little bit better you know it's um a bit boring it looked a little bit bootstrappy with all the background the gray backgrounds and and that sort of thing okay with the promo here looks a bit sort of stuck out on a limb okay so just gonna add a background all 
Okay, so we've got a nice black background. Text obviously now is you know, accessibility wise is a little bit a little bit too dark. So uh, we'll change the colour of it. You know, this is all via Chrome. You know, we're not doing, you know, we're not going into FTP. We're not grabbing the files. We're not, you know, let's build it in Chrome. Yeah, you can, but, yeah, you, you, you can, you can. I just find it so much easier than Chrome, to be honest with you. You know, I'm not telling you to use Chrome. Well, I am. I'm <laughs> uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. I think there are some additional extensions. Uh, yeah, I think there are some plugins, yeah. Chrome, but I do not use them, so uh, yeah. you have to find the talent. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying that you can't do this in Firebug, okay? I'm just saying that, you know, I, from my experience of using Firebug and Chrome and doing loads of different things, from my experience, this is the easiest option. It's the speed as well, isn't it? It is. It is. Does it really? Okay. Uh, Mac or PC? Mac. Oh. So, at what point do you think the stop string of wireframe comes a website? There's a crossover point, isn't there? Yeah. At what point in the, in the client's eyes or your eyes? Because uh, you're committing now, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, what, I, what I'm actually doing here is I'm doing the design. Um, I would, m more often than not, this sort of type of site, I would do with the client. Yeah. I would be on site. Yeah. Okay, so he's there saying, change the shade of the colour, yeah. move this from right to left, etc. So you can see here, we, you know, we, we're building up our, our styles. Okay, again, don't click the, uh, click the browser. Um, last couple of bits I'm going to do is just put a background on the, on the footer. Coming How next. Sorry? I'll show you that in a moment. Very easy. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do here is that the, the main thing that everybody says, oh, it looks like bootstrap, I can tell bootstrap a million miles away, are the buttons. The buttons, you know, I hate the bootstrap buttons. Okay, so all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to override that button and I'm going to dramatically change it. Um, you can see if you click on the element, you can see the styling, you can click on the CSS, you can see where it is in um, uh, Bootstrap, and you can just copy and paste it back into your um, sort of live CSS that we're creating. I'm not going to do that, okay, just because I want to style it a little bit more. I have a, a, a snippet, okay, so this is where we, we paste it down the bottom and just override it in the browser. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go off to a little bit of snippet that I use for a lot of my buttons. I've nicked some of it from other people, you know, but it works. And I didn't want to sit there going, hash, FFF, hash, FFF. Okay, so if we just pop that in there. Still, still not saved anything yet. No, because I'm brave. I'm a rebel. Okay, so 
now is it's, it's not really looking like bootstrap you know i could do more to this and what have you but you know the guy's only paid me 300 euros so pff, finished website okay the thing we need to do now <laughs> uh, the thing we need to do now is grab that css okay before everything dies and etc cetera, etc cetera. so we literally yeah, command A, command C. I'm doing this on local host, okay? So my, um, my stall sheet is already open, okay? And we just pop it in to our stall sheet. Okay, so we'll all those styles we've now created, grabbed from Chrome. I'm just changing a couple of things here. I don't know why it does that in Chrome, but that's another thing. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we just save it. We can now go back to the browser and we can refresh it. Okay, so we have a finished styled website that we've done in Chrome. Okay, we've charged him 300 euros or whatever and if you're Alex you would have charged 1500 quid and gone away and sat there with a cup of coffee and did nothing and the rest, and the rest yeah <laughs> okay great thing about it also is you know we can build things things faster it's you know people say you know WYSIWYG what you see is what you get okay I in the back end, I call it of what you see is what actually you don't really quite get. Okay, but the thing about Chrome, the thing about Chrome is actually what you see is actually what you do get. That's what you're going to end up with. Okay, and if, if you're with a client, like I, I do it quite regularly, I do it at least a couple or three times a month where I sit in Costa or he comes around to my office and we build a website together. The end product matches the prototype. Everybody's happy. You know, this, this, is, this is the main thing where, you know, you do a wireframe and it, you know, the, the width and, you know, you've got the gutters in between the, the different columns and all this sort of stuff. You, you then go off and you, you start building your website and, everything, and actually it's, it doesn't look the same. You know, when we do a prototype in the browser using uh, Bootstrap, it looks the same. You know, if they're happy with the gutters on the wireframe, that's what the gutters will be on the actual um, on the actual design. You know, like I've been saying all the way through, this is not, I'm not telling you this is the way to do this. Okay, I don't do it all the time. You know, I have to do wireframes for clients. I have to do Photoshop designs for clients and all the rest of it. But this is a, this is a quick earner. You know, Joomla's free. Earn some money from it. Okay. That's it. Really quick. <laughs> so uh, let's have a beer. Uh, Frank. Um, and I just saw the, way the, uh, the pixel grid, which, which helps uh, to, to narrow your bootstrap template. Yeah. Uh, it's not a module, it's in the Juicestrap uh, template parameters. Um, it's a great um, bit of JavaScript that I've taken from a friend of mine called Todd Moto, I think his um, Twitter name is. Um, and effectively all it's doing is it's pulling our design inside an iframe yeah. and we're just messing around with it. No, 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 no. He, he, he's put it on Git. Uh, it's called, uh, I, can't, I don't know whether I called it J-Resize. Is it J-Resize or, I, I don't know whether I called it J-Resize or he actually just, he's nothing to do with Joomla, okay? Whether, ah, actually, I think it is JavaScript resize. So I think it was just coincidence. But it's, it, it is cool, you know, it's not as good as testing on devices, obviously. Yes, but it's quick. Okay, but it, you know, just to make sure that, yeah, I've got padding and this, that, and all the rest of it, 
it's just just quick and easy. You know, I'm not saying use that. Um, you know, there are other ones out there. Uh, Responsinator is, is one of my favourites. You know, so. I am the tall, quiet one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I actually found one, Kiara, which is cats. Yes, and have you seen? Have you seen it? Yeah, and you put in forward slash, and you just put in a size fifteen times fifteen or whatever, and it's all cats all over the screen, all different sizes. And it's, it's just brilliant. I think, yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, the thing is, is, is that you know, this, this is not something. Well, I might do it for a client and actually send them a link, okay, so that they can play with the wire, working wireframe in Joomla. Um, you know, all I'm doing here is showing you what I would normally do in Costa, and I wouldn't even type header in that module five times. I would just run my hand across the keyboard. You know, it's it's really just you know setting up a, a you know a wireframe really quickly. I could do it with, you know, nice images for the wireframe, but. So what I, what I seriously, what I really like about this kind of approach, and it's very much in keeping with what we do at uh, Free Reading, uh, at least certainly for smaller things, is if you if you simply present a Photoshop file, a nice JPEG or 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 a, or a, or a PDF or whatever, it is nice, that they want to see it working. Yeah. If you present a wireframe, they want to see what shape the turtle and how big their logo is. It can't swing the Photoshop. No, I mean, you know. Exactly. I mean, I've, I've, over the years, I've done a lot of work with um, uh, museum curators, uh, curators and other types of people who are not webby people. Okay, they go on there and, you know, they still think that, you know, a link on a, on a website, you've got to double click it because that's what you do on Windows. Okay, you don't. Um, they want squishy buttons. They want to see what happens when you hover over that button. You know, you can't do that. You can't present that with a wireframe. Okay, or, a, you know, a bit of paper. You know, you could take a, <laughs> you could knock this up in Joomla, take a screen grab and send it to them and say, there you go, there's, there's your, your, your wireframe. Okay, and then go to another page and take a screenshot and send them that one and say, that's, that's what an inner page is going to look like. Okay, and then they come back and they say, yeah, just move this. So you just move it in Joomla, all right, or you change it in Joomla. And then they say, okay, great. Okay, when can, when can I see it working? I'll send you a URL in two minutes. They love it. They absolutely love it. You know, but the, the best thing, you know, this is not for your big client. Okay? You know, you, you can mock it up yourself when you start building a site like this. Absolutely no problem. But th this is really for sort of, you know, you're building a site for your mum or, you know, your next door neighbour who's a carpenter or whatever. And sitting with them and saying, yeah, I'll build you a quick website, you know, I'm, you know 500 quid and I'll do it sort of thing. You know, it's it's just ideal for that sort of we scenario. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Isn't he dead cute, by the way? <laughs> no, it's not. No, no, it's uh, cool. Any more questions? <coughs> Say again. In the bar, nearly 12 o'clock. Cool, okay.